Okay, number seven, we want to find the x and y intercept. And then there's a part two, so we're probably going to graph it as well. So we're going to start out with 5y minus 4x equals negative 20. Okay, so we're going to find the x-intercept. And in that event, we know that y equals 0. And then we're also going to find the y-intercept. And then in that case, this time, x is 0. Okay, so <clears throat> when y is 0, okay, we're going to plug in the 0 and we're going to lose that y term. So the remaining equation is going to be negative 4y equals negative 20. Negative 4x, I'm sorry. So negative 4y. Negative 4x equals negative 20. And then we're going to solve for x. Divide by negative 4 on both sides. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. So that term is gone. And then negative 20 divided by negative 4 is a positive 5. So our order pair x is 5, y is 0. Okay, then on the other side, we're going to get rid of the x term by plugging in 0, and we'll be left with 5y equals negative 20. Alright, and then we're going to divide by 5, and then that gives you y equals negative 4. So as an ordered pair, x is 0, y is negative 4. Zero and zero, negative four. All right, then part two, we're just going to um, drag the points to those order pairs. So we're going to go five to the right and stay on the x-axis. And then we're going to stay on the y-axis and go down four. Okay, so with <coughs> number 8, we're going to do the same thing. This time we have 7y plus 21 over 2 equals negative 3x. And so we're going to find the x-intercept. We're going to find the y-intercept. So y equals 0. And then x equals 0. So if we plug a 0 for y, we lose that term. And we have this left. 21 over 2 equals negative 3x. Alright, so all we have to do is divide by negative 3 to get x by itself. Now over here, when we divide by negative 3, since we already have this fraction, um, there's a couple things you can do, but I'm going to get to the simple part. When you divide, it's coming on the bottom and just reacting with this two that's already there, so you're going to multiply that. What actually what's actually happening? I'm gonna try to do some scratch work in this uh, space over here. You have 21 over 2. You're gonna divide this by negative 3, which this looks weird. You have a fraction on top of a fraction. Um, this is your division bar here. Um, you would put this over 1, and we would do this process called keep change flip, where we would keep the top fraction. change division to multiplication and then we would flip the bottom fraction so it was three but I just put three over one same thing and you would flip that so you'd have one over negative three and then when you multiply fraction you just multiply straight across no common denominator needed there so at the end of the day you're going to have 21 
and then on the bottom you're going to have 2 times negative 3, which I just jumped there. So if you're going to divide, and a fraction is already there, the number that you're dividing by is going to multiply the denominator. That's the, the short of it. So <coughs> negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1, and then we'll have 21, which we can reduce. This will be uh, 21 over negative 6, and then we can divide both of these numbers by 3. And that will just give us a negative 7 over 2 for our x value. So as an ordered pair, negative 7 over 2, comma 0, or you can be looking at it as a decimal 3.5, negative 3.5, 0. Um, probably be good to identify it as a decimal as you're graphing it on the calculator because it's harder to try to figure out what 7 over 2 is versus 3.5 when you're putting it on the graph. Um, and then the y-intercept, we're going to do the same thing. This time, the x is 0. So we will have 7y plus 21 over 2 equals 0. So that term zeroes out. And then we want to move the, um, the 21 over 2 over by subtracting it. That's going to give me 7y equals a negative 21 over 2. And we're going to divide by 7. So I divide by 7, and then over here, it's going to go on the bottom. And then we have y equals negative 21 over 14. And both of these can be divided by 7. So you get y equals 3, negative 3, over 2. So your order pair here is going to be negative 3 over 2, no, x is 0, sorry, wrong order, 0, and then negative 3 over 2, or as a decimal, 0 and negative 1.5. So I'm going to be really focusing on the decimal points here to uh, graph those. <coughs> Negative 7 over 2, 0, and then 0, and negative 3 over 2. Okay, so when we graph, <coughs> we want to look at the decimal form, so negative 3.5. So I'm going to left 1, 2, 3, and then halfway in the middle. I think they're going to get that. And then um, the y value is going to be down 1.5. So down 1, 